two games in a row you guys have kind of made plays to pull out a game that very easily could have gone the other way, and it's really kind of the same two guards have been doing it. J.D., John Gillen, both really big plays for you. Obviously, right. Fred had the tip to set up J.D.'s, but right. what can you say about this team's ability to just come back and win these games? I thought, I, I, I thought Prentice was a huge factor. You know, our, our, our freshman guards have really come through on these last two. If we didn't have them, we wouldn't have won them, and, and I, I feel for the opposing coaches, David Rice and San Jose State's coach, I mean, I, it, 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 they, I don't know how they say it, but it's, uh, snatch victory right out of the jaws <laughs> or vice versa, because they had it. I mean, it was, but we showed some great resilience and, and just kept fighting and banging away and making plays. And, you know, just uh, our guys' shirts were just drenched like they jumped in a pool. And give them all the credit. They nobody ever gave up. The coaches didn't give up. We kept a, urging them on. Um, they made a lot of mistakes, but they played through them, and that's what it's all about. And I think these this week is a big defining moment in our season. We uh, we showed some real resiliency. You said the other day you had a, already had kind of the if we lose speech ready to go. Uh, rally the troops for next time. Were you thinking that again this time, or did you feel yeah, a little I, more confident this time because they had done it just three nights earlier? No, I, I had that still written in my back pocket, ready to. But, I mean, if, if this game didn't work out, it wouldn't have been surprising. Mm -hmm. I, I've told everybody that, you know, we were a 26-point favorite last year, and we were six this year. I mean, the coach has done a phenomenal job of turning – this program around and they have young guys and uh, I thought just to match their intensity is very very hard and I thought we did and at times more intensified and it's just it's just kind of poetic I don't know justice that's not the way to put it but it's just crazy that they led the whole time and then they missed a layup to win the game and JD doesn't get that ball I mean off a few a few you know, eight tenths of a second later, we were not even in overtime. It was really a lot of fun to be involved in that. There were so many highs and lows. It was great. You obviously careful to not foul there to get the steal at the end of regulation. How critical was that? Some teams would just put a guy on the line and take their chances. You guys obviously chose to go for the steal in the backcourt. Well, we knew that we had to foul, but we wanted to trap and then run through the passing lane. Um, on the first pass, and then if they caught it, we'd foul them then. So we wanted one shot at getting it. And, I mean, it, it, it's again, I'd hate to be on the other end of it. I mean, I've been there before, and it's just almost a miracle that we found a way to win. But that was the plan going back to that. We okay. wanted to trap them, we wanted to run through the play and try to steal it. And didn't take that much time off the clock. We still had time. And um, they threw it away. So it was even better. But we were going to foul the minute they they, they made one pass. How what? John Gillen, that layup at the end. I mean, obviously you know he's a guy that's confident he's going to make that drive. I'm, I'm figuring he's probably thinking more about trying to get to the free throw line than actually get the layup. But he gets the layup and uh, well, two, scores two, the winning two points in again. Two in a row. And I think John, when he's on point and, and really concentrating, he can elevate above that rim and finish. I think lots of times he just goes in there hoping to draw the foul. And, and when he goes in with an attitude that I'm going to make this and draw the foul, uh, he, he's, he's really effective. There's lots of times he goes in there, falls down, acts like he's fouled, and shoots the ball below the net. He's, uh, he's learning that... He can do both. He, he, he uh, he's much better when he gets in there and, and and eyes up, as we say, on the target and try to finish. But that was one of the neater games, particularly because we won that I've been involved with in a long time, and I think it's gonna it's gonna pay dividends. I, I did not. I told our staff before the game I would hate to come in here in February and play this team because they're just gonna be so much better. You want to play them now because they're just gonna keep getting better.